Hello there, and uh, welcome, well, welcome to a video, it's been a while since I've put a video out. Um, I've gone through a collection of Mega Drive games today, and uh, one of my came across was Alyssa Dragoon. I've never heard of this, I've never played this, um, but I thought it might be interesting to try it out. It, it's got kind of a Golden Axe type vibe to it from looking at the case. And according to this, it came out in 92, so this is going to be interesting. Let's give this a try. Uh, my videos have been not as frequent lately due to uh, work and stuff. Um, but I will try and uh, do videos more often. Okay. Okay, we'll skip all that. Oh, well, it's a... Looks like a side-scrolling action game. How do you move? Oh, it won't let me move any, any further that way. Okay, whoa, that's different. So that jumps. Yeah, I, what's that do? Okay, must be special attacks or something. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've put a video out. Um, my last one was uh, the Outlast 2 demo. This seems alright. God, there's hundreds of them. Where's my dragon gone? Oh, is he going to use some sort of special ability then or something? I see the whole Black Friday has just gone by recently and uh, <laughs> didn't see too much craziness, uh, unlike last year, where people were apparently punching each other to get on of certain televisions and stuff. Oh, God. I've never, I've never really heard of this game before. And my, my channel is pretty... Bugger off. It's uh, kind of more, I suppose, Sega look related than anything else. But I do actually want to go back, and I've said this hundreds of times, and do some more Nintendo content. Um, like, uh, I'd like to continue Ocarina of Time. But every time I try, I get... Well, I haven't tried in, in, in a recent while, but I get copyrighted by... Uh, copy for... Oh, God's sake. Copy flag by um, <laughs> bloody Nintendo. It's very difficult to tell what's actually going on here, actually. It's not a bad game, this actually. Should get into it. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, no. Where's my health as well? Oh, that must be my health there. Oh, you can just hold it. I was, I was bashing the B button like it was going out of business. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hmm, it's very, very different. I have to say. Oh god, is this... I thought that was a boss then. I've seen a few reviews on this game, but it's not one I'm particularly that familiar with. Can't shoot up. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so there's a... The, the whole Black Friday thing has, has become... Like, it's different. We didn't have it in the UK. It's only in the last couple of years we've sort of adopted it. Uh, it's very, very different. <laughs> From things I've been reading about it, people trying to kill each other over cheaply priced tellers and a lot of crazy stuff. It's bizarre, to say the least. 
Quite forgiving, actually. I'm going to regret saying that in a minute, most probably. I haven't. Oh god. I haven't really come across much that's that deadly, you know? This has got. The hell? This has got a very sort of golden. What the hell is that? Golden axe and uh, altered beast kind of. Uh, vibe to it. Kind of games where they just would sort of suck up all your uh, all your pennies and stuff. It's not bad though, although I'm not quite sure what was that boss I just faced, or was that? I don't fully understand it to be honest. Sink at this point. Come on. Bugger off. I know the reason I'm going backwards because I want to see if there's any kind of secrets or anything. I don't know if there is. I've gone into this game completely blind, to be honest, with really no idea what this game is actually about, <laughs> other than it's clearly a button masher of some, of some kind. Bars fall, it must mean something. Oh, okay. So you power up your attacks. Whoa! That's quite colourful, the graphics. A little bit pixelated on the big screen. Um, on a 1080p uh, Panasonic 40 inch telly, so it's not. Ouch, 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 get out of here, run, run, run. Tell me that one more time, you brick. Oh god, it's going through it. And it doesn't look, look too bad, to be honest. And of course, as always, I'm using the uh, Egato HD capture device, which is always decent, always good. That is a really odd thing to have in the middle of a... like a medieval setting. It looks like a... Uh, like a, an American football player with a big pitch for you know? Oh dear. There's some sort of puzzle I don't want to go. Maybe I missed something. Yep, yeah I did. Who the 
hell is this? Run, run, run. Where's he? Where's he? Get him, get him, get him. Oh god. These things seem to be... Oh god, I'm dead. Crap. Don't put back at the beginning, please. Don't put... <laughs> god damn it. through this. Jump. Jump. <laughs> you jump in. I can say this is not, this isn't exactly a difficult game, but given the fact that I haven't really done a lot of research into this to, to actually see what exactly the objectives are, I'm just sort of trying to get back to where I was before. Why does that keep saying demo as well? Because I'm playing the game, it's not a demo. I reckon you could probably get through this in about maybe an hour. I how fast I've managed to blow through the first level. So I've got to somehow Keep my dragon alive, or something. Oh, you bastard. Let's get out of here before I die. Okay, that refills your life bar. So it's, it's not a bad game, this. Um, I, I don't know how rare this actually is. And I've got a, a few games like this that... The controller's broken or something. Thanks. Okay. So that's the end of level one. So I died at the end of level two. Okay, so I've got these little dragon things to help me. Stay on the lower side, I think. Won't go up, we'll stay low. Hit all the time, though. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Sort of like old school game, and it is sort of. Um, it, it primitive in some regards, in terms of just. Ouch. Just throw as much shit at the screen as we can, and some of it will stick. But. Um, kind of one of the things you sort of can appreciate about older games and stuff. Let me guess, yeah, the enemy is respawning. You don't kill something, it respawns. That's an old, old school uh, game type mechanic, to be honest. It's kind of cheap, but it is what it is. So I wonder if this ever came out in the arcades. Because I'm stuck. 
because this would eat your. Uh, this is a, a coin eater. Get it up. Definitely. Like a, it's like an, it looks like an American football player with like a fork or something. It's bizarre. Get away from me. This was kind of odd in my interest, actually. There's a few games to this day I've never actually gone back and played because they're just so intimidating. Uh, things like uh, Echo the Dolphin being one of them. I remember playing that and sort of thinking, what on earth is this game about? Oh god, is that the boss? It's the boss, it's the boss. Don't, don't, don't. That's not fair, it always goes for you. There you go. Is that both of them dealt with? Oh no, so that was one, sorry, that was stage one. Okay, I thought that was stage two. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh boy, platforming. What on earth? Slightly evil. Jump. Does it hurt me going in the water or something? Jump. Yeah, it does. Okay. I bet the people are thinking, you're playing it wrong, you're playing it wrong. Any comments are always appreciated. Love that, whatever that was. What's that? How do you kill this prick? Got a clue. Oh. Oh, right, okay, thank you very much. Now I understand. I should really have done a bit of research before playing this. Oh, God, ouch. Everything wants to kill me. Everything is shooting me. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so I've got very little HP left. What on earth? It's like something with Bonnie would use in Sonic. 
Oh, what in the hell? It's the Green Goblin. Things are actually really difficult to avoid. What on earth is that? Ooh. Die, 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 Like a big ass crocodile or something, I don't know. Crocodiles are bad enough, let them mutate it. <laughs> run away, run away, run away. Don't run away, don't run away, you can't run away, you cannot run away. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, okay, so... This is going to put it back to stage one, isn't it? No, it put me back to stage two. There's nothing more irritating than a game that does that. Die, you twat. Everything on this game, like, like the projectiles just automatically hit you. You just, you can't avoid them. Kind of cheap. This is um, it's not as bad as Ghouls and Ghosts, but it's got that kind of vibe to it. Like, like the the enemies just move, and they they always seem to hit you. How do I? Oh, there's me little fairies that let me go up there last time. They disappeared. Where are they? Thank you. So I get back to the boss, hopefully as soon as possible. See look at that? It automatically hits me. Doesn't matter what I do. And some health. Give me some health. Okay, one more attempt. If I fail at this, then screw it. Because I'm not really getting anywhere with this. See, the first thing it does, the projectiles automatically hit you. It doesn't matter, it seems to be what, from what I can see. But again, they, they, they just, they're like guided missiles, they automatically hit you. It doesn't matter what you do. Now my dragon's there.
guy. Got one bar of health left. How does he always know where I am? Always managed to hit it. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. I'll get my ass kicked here. Uh, where is he? Shoot the brick, shoot him! Why is he not dying? He was dying before, no problem. Oh, you. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Alison. Dr oh, Alison Dragoon. Um, not a bad game. If you've got the patience for it, I unfortunately don't have the patience for it. But, um, yeah. Magic bacteria. <laughs>